Yeah, no, it's okay. Okay, so I have some funny things about the speech. So I thought I wrote my speech on uh, right of interpretation. I'm going to have to stop back and forth because I need to read my, my laptop, though. But uh, So I thought I was going to do a right of interpretation. Then uh, I look at the program that Hossein and uh, Serena and a bunch of other submitters worked on, and it said uh, personal opinion. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, did I say personal opinion? And then so I started writing my speech about personal opinion. And then I look at my notes that I had before, and it said right of interpretation. So I was like, oh, OK, maybe it was. But it's all right. I mixed it together a little bit. So it's actually it's still personal opinion. OK. I will just start anyway on, OK, so personal opinion. So what is personal opinion? We got this guy who's giving his personal opinion. He says, I don't care about issues. I've got better things to do than argue with every wrong-headed crackpot with an ignorant opinion. I'm a busy man. This is wrong, right? I shouldn't have an opinion like that. Oh, no, this is, this is Calvin and Hobbes. This is by Bill Watterson. It's a great, well, OK, it's not really, it's an interesting comic because this kid is like the worst kid ever. Like. This is not a submitting kid. Every single problem that you can think of, this kid will try to weasel and do everything bad. But it's interesting. OK, so what is personal opinion? Um, I'm going to do like everyone else and give some definitions. So personal means you know, affecting to belong to a per uh, particular person, so yourself. And opinion means a view or judgment formed by something that's not necessarily based on fact or knowledge. So um, I'm writing this to voice my opinion uh, to, uh, on a great issue of importance. Sorry, I'm going to, well, it's kind of weird. Okay, so opinion versus fact. So opinion is a statement that holds an element of belief. It tells how someone feels. An opinion is not always true and cannot be proven. Fact, so fact is a statement that is true and can be verified objectively or proven. In other words, a fact is true and correct no matter what. Okay, so let's read some uh, verses. I'm not going to read them because I don't have time. But personal opinion mentioned in the Quran. I'm going to mention the story of David. And uh, also, I will read Surah 6, verse 19. Basically, for David, God says, do not follow your personal opinion. And in Surah 6, verse 119, it says, why should you not eat from which uh, God's name has been, has, has been mentioned? He has detailed for you what is prohibited for you unless you are enforced. Indeed, many people mislead others with their personal opinions without knowledge. Your Lord is fully aware of the transgressors. Now, I wanted to focus on the part where it says without knowledge, because I was thinking about this for a while. Um, knowledge is very interesting to me because, I'll explain, knowledge comes only from God. So, no one, I'm going to just read the part where I highlighted here in Surah 2, verse 255. It says, no one attains any knowledge except as he wills. So, the example of Adam, okay, this is really cool to me. I, I was really thinking about this. So it, when the story with Adam, he uh, taught, uh, God taught Adam all the names, then presented to them to the angels saying, give me the names of these if you are right. And then the angel said, be you glorified. We have no knowledge except that which you have taught us. You are the omniscient most wise. And then he said, oh, Adam, tell them their names. When he told them their names, he said, did I not tell you that I know the secrets of the heavens and the earth? I know what you declare and what you conceal. And then the footnote says the names of these are the animals, the automobiles, the submarine, you know, all the things that we're going to encounter here. So even the angels didn't know. And we, uh, we don't know anything as well. Only God is the one that knows everything. So what does this mean? God is the one who grants knowledge from every wills. God is, knowledge is how we can see the truth. Okay, so it's 10 verse 36. Most of them know nothing but conjecture. And conjecture, there is no substitute for the truth. God is fully aware of everything they do. Without knowledge, we follow conjecture, a.k.a. our personal opinion. God bestows his knowledge to every wills. In Surah 3, verse 7, I'm going to read just the highlighted part. No, none knows the true meaning there. Oh, sorry. Actually, let me read the whole thing. Okay. He says, he sent down to you the scripture containing straightforward verses, which constitute the essence of the scripture, as well as multiple meaning or allegorical verses. Those who harbor doubts in their hearts will pursue the multiple meaning verses to create confusion and to extricate a certain meaning. None knows the true meaning thereof except God and those well-founded in knowledge. They say we believe in this. All of it comes from our Lord. Only those who possess intelligence will take heed. I love this verse. It's awesome. Okay, so who are those well-founded in knowledge? 
How do we know when our personal opinions coincide with the truth? Dude doesn't know. Okay, God tells us in the Quran, messengers, for example, okay, the message that all of God's messengers bring is the same, and it all comes from the same source, God. Okay, some people, and I've encountered this a lot online and stuff like that, where they always want to make it seem like the messenger is giving his personal opinion, and uh, that, you know, everyone has their own opinion, and, you know, how do you know if, if it's the correct if it's the truth? So the views on this regard to the message being delivered, it says, the first is messengers are speaking their personal opinion and can be wrong. And then the second view is messengers do not speak on their own. They, do, they don't speak their personal opinion. Surah 21, verse 27. And we also know from uh, the example of David, God even tells him, do not follow your personal opinion. So when our personal opinion coincides with the truth, there's no contradictions. Our lives get better. Okay, because we're following God's law. So the truth, it's fact, it's correct no matter what. Let us be sincere and God willing, make sure our understandings always coincide with the truth. So it's Surah 2 verse 42. Do not confound the truth with falsehood, nor shall you conceal the truth knowingly. Okay, and that was the end of my slides, but I have one, a few more verses I wanted to read. Actually, let me just go back so you guys can read. Okay, so, this is really important to me. I wanted to read the verses 2, 146 through 148. It says, those who receive the scripture recognize the truth therein, as they recognize their own children. Yet some of them conceal the truth knowingly. This is the truth from your Lord. Do not harbor any doubt. Each of you chooses the direction to follow. You shall race towards righteousness Wherever you may be, God will summon you all. God is omnipotent. So when it says that this is the truth and the messengers bring the truth, all we have to say is we hear and we obey. And then I wanted to finish with this because, um, because I don't have a lot of time and I don't want to, I have more, but okay. So I'm just going to finish with this verse because I think it sums it up very nicely. Source 5 verse 83. When they hear what was revealed to the messenger... You see their eyes flooding with tears as they recognize the truth therein. And they say, our Lord, we have believed and count us among the witnesses. 